All right, well, it's chopping time. So we start off the video, Dan here, GSP Chop. We start off the video by uh, ripping a set of doors off. Pretty simple process so far. Uh, no different than doing a four door to two door on a sedan uh, conversion at this point. We take the doors off. We have our replacement doors, and that's just a shell I, I picked up. I have two of them, and I found a guy with other doors, so these might just be temporary. This is some kind of fairly thick uh, plate that I've been having for a while. I'm going to use this a little bit of structure. Anyways, this is all kind of new to me, and I haven't seen anybody do it on the internet yet, so it's kind of really new to me. Well, I've seen it, but I haven't seen anybody like a how-to. So, I'm thinking we're going to do the same situation. The post is just going to move back. The door will be hung. And then we'll be using the uh, the post of structure to make our, our quarter pound. Now, it's a bit of a goofy kind of shape. I don't know what's going to happen in here. That's definitely a little uh, nerve-wracking, but we'll figure it out. And ultimately, i got to take a lot of this stuff off to kind of get in there. Anyways, we're not focused on that just yet. We'll, we'll play that one by ear. This is the post. Now, the post, it's got some wiggle to it. Now, the way it works, it attaches to the... Uh, to the rocker just like any other thing would but it has this kind of brace which goes over into the floor and as you can see where it's kind of bracing is well there isn't a whole lot left to it anymore so it's got some flex to it and the back door was hanging out you had to lift it to kind of latch it so i cleaned up a little bit back well i just took this little plate off and it's actually fairly solid here and the floor is nice and solid here so i think what's going to happen i'm going to cut this whole section out uh, we're gonna move it back in the meantime. I think that's where I'll plate this it might just be some sheet metal if you anything that thick I might use the thick stuff on the rocker just to keep it because there's uh, well, there's nothing down here. It's Nobody home and really we do need some strength But I also look at I mean the fact that it has this much strength in it uh, With not a lot of structure and we're just gonna test it and everything this may have to come apart again, I'm not too sure. I want to get the doors on it, get the quarter skin kind of tacked, or the door, whatever you want to call it, tacked. Once everything fits, before I cut the roof off, because we're doing a convertible, like it or hate it, I think there'll be a lot of bracing going on in this situation. A lot of bracing from here to there, you know, into the tunnel, whatever it has to be. Might even weld the door shut or put a bar in there. Do something. Because uh, I do think the roof coming off is going to be something for sure and i don't want this thing to all kind of fold up like a pretzel but we're gonna keep giving her so i'm gonna look at the other side see what it looks like uh the nice thing about these i mean in all reality this is probably less stress on the body than it was because there's no doors hanging off anything there's uh, these hard tops are quite a quit unit man these things got hit on the side uh, i don't know how much i trust that i tell you nice post top to bottom probably really spreads the load out quite a bit these are Oh, well, there's something. Anyways, I'm going to get uh, cutting this out. And we'll see what's going to look back here. It should be a fun time. I'm excited. Well, we're making progress, I think. At the very least, I know how it comes apart. So we've got the door hung. I think it's still, it's hard to tell. Like it fits good there, but this doesn't, but this kind of moves, so <laughs> I don't know, we'll wing it there. Um, let's hit the fender. Oh, yeah. So the way this fits, 
It's pretty simple. It fits along the rocker just like usual and this little outrigger goes into the floor. I don't know if I had a little divot. If maybe you cut through, there was nothing left underneath like if it was double wall. Uh, I mean it's clearly rotted out so I don't know if you're supposed to kind of cut it out. It sits flush. It goes from there but the post is back. Now the issue we're going to run into the door it wants to hit all of this stuff because the back of the door is a different shape on the four door and two door so I think this section here might have to go and then we'll fill it in or do whatever down the road but that's that's that this is a pretty pretty uh hefty piece of goods so now what I'm thinking I'm gonna run some of that thick steel under and under weld that I'm then going to get just some thin, I think I got 18 gauge or 19 gauge or something like that. I'm just going to literally put a piece over it and brrr, weld it in just as an ugly patch, but then it'll have its strength back because this is literally all that, <laughs> that's in the rocker. There's nothing there. It's all rotted away. So I think that's the plan. That way I'll have lots of strength across there. That'll all be good. This line will stay the same. I might even weld something uh, front to back on the side. Just... Uh, to keep the shape as much as we possibly can while we're getting everything set up. But yeah, that's where we're going. Anyways, it's getting dark. I'm tired. The GoPro battery's dead. All my batteries are dead in the grinders, so I think it's time to call it. I actually just finished the last video, which hopefully you've already watched. If you haven't, go back and watch it. Do me a favor. Gentle. But I'll uh, be back at it tomorrow. I'm thinking tomorrow I'll get all that welded in and get strengthened up. We'll mount the post. I think I have a latch and stuff. It'd be nice to get a latch on there so we can latch it to the door. Where's the piece? I'm sure I could take it off. That one. Latch it. Have that going. And then I'd like to just kind of get the the quarter piece tacked in. I think I would add a lot more strength to it. But I don't know. We're getting somewhere. I mean, it's. Uh, we're on our way to a two-door hardtop, other than it has an ugly roof. It's too bad that the four doors and two doors didn't share the same roof line, like the sedans do. Because then you can make hardtops. That door sure is a lot longer. It's got a kind of a different shape to it. The hardtops are very different than the sedans. So, yeah, it's funny, Mer stopped by. And it's funny because I told him it felt like the first time I chopped up my 55. I really didn't know what I was doing. I'd done some research. I bought the cars. I bought the panels or whatever I thought I was going to need. I started cutting, I was very nervous, but, you know, it turned out okay, I guess. And now I'm on my third sedan for myself now, doing this Black Widow. So it takes me back to a couple years ago when this is all brand new, which is exciting. Doing the same thing over and over again, putting in floors, putting on quarters, doing all those things. I mean, replacing a floor, or a quarter panel, or fender, or doing a motor swap, doesn't matter, Ford, Chevy, Dodge, same principles. Chopping doors out, making them in this hard tops, convertibles, all that. That's that's unique. I enjoy it. It's new. Anyways, that's it for me tonight. I will see you guys tomorrow. It's the next day. Gorgeous day. God, is that a nice car. So let's work on this piece of junk. So, uh, I gave this a quick coat of primers because it was a bare metal. Now, the post is turning out to be quite a lot more work than I had originally anticipated. Sorry, my life. Um, let's see if I can take this apart. Ugh. Uh, I'll be right back. While oh, I get the door open. So here is why it's difficult. On a four door, the door latches down there. On a two door, the door latches up here. Like every other two door, the four door is weird. The back door seems normal, but the front door, way down there. Anyways, um, I welded in a plate there and I put a little piece of angle just so it's got some, I mean, hey, it ain't perfect, but uh, it's good enough for what we're doing here. Uh, the post, a little, a little flimsy, a little flimsy side. So what we're working on next, or now, or what are you going to call it? So this is the little kind of brace piece, which would have been in that big hole so obviously these things rot out and that's what causes the post to really go it also only has kind of two ugly tack welds on all the materials going to come out this came off real easy it just had a few little uh welds on it so what i'm going to do is just kind of put it back on uh 
kind of temporarily, like you can see it's not, it's meant to fit a different contour. So this will obviously have to be modified when it goes in permanently into the proper floor. I don't know if it's supposed to sink down in it or what. Like it looks like there's a brace there, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Anyways, on the back side, it's flat enough that I can get some good welds on it and I'll weld it back to the post. So what I was gonna do, trying to figure out where this post wants to be in the grand scheme of things is the problem. I might also run a brace just over there just to hold that from twisting, but uh, eh, it'll be fine. So what I've done, you close the door and you latch it. This is kind of a... Yeah, that, that's not bad, let's be honest, that's pretty good. So what I'm actually doing is I just kind of pushed the post in so the door was about flush with the rocker. So it looks about right. Try to think that looks about right. Um, the door gap, the way the door fits is very strange. This can all be adjusted. It's okay at the top, right? I don't know what we're doing at the top here yet. That'll be a whole other situation. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of hold the door where I want it, give it a few tacks to the post to the floor. That'll then hold it and it'll kind of carry on. Today, oh, I'm already dirty. Today I did spend $1,200 on sheet metal, which is a lot, but what are you gonna do? I mean, at the end of the day, it's worth a thousand bucks in the car, 1200 bucks in sheet metal for convertible kind of sheet metal. Uh, almost everything I need, I think. So what I did, and I mean, this could all be made, but I thought, eh, I want it done a little bit more proper. Rockers both sides. I got the lower, uh, the lower section of the quarter panel, so the back section and the front section. I then got the proper, this is, now this is where the convertible stuff comes in. They sell a convertible piece that joins, I don't know, it's like the upper quarter that goes up on both sides and the trunk pan, which is quite a bit bigger once the glass is out, because then the rest of this all just goes away. There's nothing there, there's no package tray. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces of steel for 1,200 and some bucks ish. So that's not bad. Uh, I do a floor for it. I got a scratch and dent floors. That's pretty sweet. That was 800 bucks. So what's that, 1,222. So 3,000 bucks will have most of the metal work kind of taken care of. I do have a fender, I think. I have a spare fender, I have a spare hood. I might have to buy one other fender. Now I'll get it to be looking like a convertible as a roller. And then I have a bunch of, you know, disc brake stuff and all that, rebuild the front end. But it'll be kind of no rust and rough. Now, I realize it's just a four door chopped into a convertible. At that point, it'll just be a, it'll be a roadster. It's not a real convertible. But uh, I'm thinking for five grand, if you can do a little bit of hunting and stuff like that, you might go find the convertible top pieces and all that. And you have yourself a kind of skeleton of a convertible that's somewhat rust free, new floors, new rockers, new all that stuff. Um, the guy I've been talking to a lot that has a convertible locally, he paid 7,500 bucks for a convertible that was just an absolute basket case and needed literally one of everything. So, I don't know. Whether it's a smart financial decision, I'm not quite there yet. But when the roof's off and I'm cruising down the road, I don't think it'll matter. Uh, so, I'm going to get this welded in so it has some strength in it. Then we're going to start working on this. Uh, quarter section by skinning the door which uh i've never skinned the hardtop door but how hard can it be i've jumped ahead that's the inner structure of the door i've chopped a little part ready for it but bam that's what it looks like so it's too long uh obviously i gotta trim it around the post but it makes me feel better i was worried because this section here before the v is very short on a hard topic convertible and I didn't know how it was going to turn out, but obviously it looks not bad. So, that's cool. My next step, what I'm going to do, gentle door, gentle. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to cut this piece up and just have it kind of follow the contour of the door. Obviously it's a bit of a different shape or whatever the deal is. So, cut that, make it fit the door a little better, bring it back there forward there. I should be able to hammer it actually because it does stick out a little bit past. Uh, get that close because that's what I want to ultimately butt this up to and then I can put a couple of tack holes on the back side and I can kind of zip this in and just literally ugly ugly tack it. This is all just going to be tacked together because if it all come apart so be it. I just want to make sure it's all going to fit 
before I take the roof off, I can brace the hell out of, like, take the back seat out and brace it kind of front to back and everything. I can't see it just folding in half or doing a whole lot of movement. I mean, it's a full frame car. Fenders are on it, the quarters and all that are on it. So I agree if you chop the roof off and you drove down the road, you probably have some problems. But sitting in the garage, I'm not overly concerned about it. So at least that's my plan, that's my thoughts. Uh, it's probably all wrong, but we'll see. Uh, I mean, really, at this point, this side and that side done pretty quick. And I'll be able to take the roof off. I bet I'll be ready to go, and I won't have parts yet, which can be a pain. So it's going to be a bit of a ratty-looking uh, four-door, two-door no roof with no parts. But what are you going to do? That's what it is. So I'll, uh, yeah, I'll start trimming a little bit and kind of hammering and dolling this over. Should go pretty good. And then, uh, yeah, before you know it, there'll be a hard top on one side with the ugly roof line. Well, it's starting to make a little bit of sense to me. Uh, we've got a lot of strength in I mean, just those few little tack welds. I mean, it's way better than it was. So, I mean, there's no rockers, there's no floors. But, I think it looks pretty good. You can kind of lock up the roof a little bit. Looks like a convertible. Uh, I think what I'm going to do now, so I'm just going to we start bracing things a little bit with some uh, angle iron and box tube I have. Um, I'm going to look how bad that side is because honestly I want to take the roof off. I want to see what it's going to look like, make sure I'm on the right track. It doesn't look like there's much. I mean, I get the trim off, slice it across there. Once the back window's out, it looks like there's a section on each side and it's off. And I will absolutely know if this side looks cool or not or if it's just in my tiny little brain. But I'm pretty sure it looks good. So I'm going to brace it up a little bit and then uh, I might brace the other side just kind of because I can't see it folding in half, but I'm sure someone's freaking out in the comments right now. If you're not, you might as well be. Yeah. All right, I'm going to brace this up and we'll, uh, we'll come right back, take a look at it. Well, I'll show you my ingenious bracing right away, but uh, I took the doors off this side. I don't know if up here, you guys already saw it. I actually just cut it off on this side. But this post has a fair bit more strength. The floor's not nearly as rotted, just at the front there. And it's got rockers front to back. Uh, I'll put a piece under for sure. On this side, I probably cleaned up wouldn't be such a hazard to walk around, but whatever. Uh, so on this side, put trim on there, just sitting there. I put a piece across and then brace the post. Uh, to the back there so that's good so now this has all the strength which is good so i think what i might do is hang the other door i have put the post in just kind of tack it and then tack the post to the, the back wheel well like i did on this side and maybe just down there so it has all the strength at the end of the day the doors can open and close there's, there's no strength there whatsoever and uh start cutting the roof off because I really want to see what it's going to look like. Um, I know myself and I won't be able to sleep if I don't do that. Because right now it looks horrible. Looks like a four door that I put two doors on. I need to see what the roof's going to look like. So I got to take all the trim off and stuff. So then I'm going to hang the door, move the post back, 
weld in some bracing, start peeling all the trim off because apparently this isn't, they don't repop this, so good used. And the roof, you can't get a four door hardtop roof skin, so I'm gonna try and get it off as much as I can, obviously under behind there. Back glass, I'm, I'm sure they must remake this, but again, if I can get the glass out in one piece, all that stuff, the stainless, the roof, and the back glass could probably be sold and make a few bucks, so, I don't know. I uh, paid a grand for the car, I just said, or 1200 bucks for the sheet metal convertible wise. I can make three, four, five hundred bucks back. Kind of offsets the cost. And I have no use for it. I will never use this. I think it's so friggin' ugly. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll chop it off and all. If it all goes to hell, we'll need it to turn it into an El Camino or whatever we're going to do there. Stretch it into a limo. I mean, hey, it is what it is. But that's the way my brain's working. So, I'm going to do that. Move the post back, hang the door. A little bit of welding. I'm not going to skin the back door. I'll do that tomorrow or on the next video type thing. And uh, roof off. Roof off will probably be next video. But you'll get to see all everything right up to it. Maybe I'll give you a little teaser. A little bzz, bzz, and then we'll uh, shut it for the next one. <laughs> Don't go in for the cheap shots. Okay, so we have a lot of laps in there, but uh, I got all the trim off. I got the outer. This was a pain to take off this stuff, but hopefully it'll net me dollars. Uh, so that's all off, ready to go. I uh, I'll walk into this and start point through, but I took the doors off. I took the post out. I put a piece of angle iron across the rockers for some support, and then I just welded some kind of miscellaneous things in here. I don't think it's going to collapse, but this is just good to do, I guess. I was going to do the door and the whole mess, but I don't want to do that. I want to take the roof off. Oh, Um. You okay? Oh, yeah. It's just a little tetanus. I got the back glass out. It actually looks like it would be like a cool like speed racer front glass. That's yeah, it does look neat like that. I don't know if that's worth any money or not, but I got it out. So that's a win. So are you saying if anyone needs back glass and they're local? Yeah. And you want to pay up? <laughs> if you'd like to pay a thousand dollars for it in case this all goes sideways. So we got a quarter piece on. Uh, so I'm going to do the bottom anyways. We've got rockers and all that stuff coming. But I want to see what this thing's going to look like as a verbal. So that's where we're leaving this video. But I'm not going to lie. The next video is immediately starting right now. Now we're cutting the roof off. Uh, see you in the next video. You're going to want to see it.